This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, will there be yes. any chances like uh, the IP address uh, from other different country uh, or uh, will be same like uh, another IP address in our country? Is there any international authority for uh, allocating IP, IP addresses? Yes. So that day I showed you on a website, right? IANA. So let me share you the website. Oh. So this is the organization. Okay. Now, okay. in the whole world, uh, you know, everyone or every uh, computer will have two types of IP addresses. One is private IP and the other one is public IP. Okay. okay. So we are going to explore that. So your doubt is fair enough because uh, you might be wondering uh, who is managing those IP addresses and everything. So usually what will happen? Let me share you my diagram. Then I will get a fair idea. So, okay, think that this is one uh, server, okay. Now, this uh, computer requires two types of IP addresses. Why? Because one is for to be called locally. Okay. So, first one is private IP. Okay. And the second one is public IP. So, why this is required? Okay. Now, private IP is like local local power okay but whereas public ip global power in the sense using this ip you can reach to this ip over the internet okay and if you want to access internet you need public ip only then it is possible otherwise it is not possible so uh, like think something like uh, for example I'll be known, uh, you know, with my uh, local name, right? Isn't it? So, and uh, my name is Mithun. And I will have my nickname, something like that. Okay, so my uh, my name is Mithun. Okay, fair enough. And suppose I join one company. In my house, I am the only Mithun, right? But in when I join an organization or an office, right? So, in an office, there will not be only one Mithun, right? There, there might be possibility that there will be several other Mithun, isn't it? So, in that scenario, if there are multiple Mithun, then there will be a clashes, right? So, that is why we will have an employee ID. So, the employee ID will be unique, right? So, with this employee, so for example, my uh, one employee ID is one two three, and another employee ID is so four five six. So like this, we can have the distinguish, uh, or uh, or else what we can say, uh, we can identify, or else we can uh, we can find out with the employee ID because this number is unique. Okay, suppose if someone have issued an employee ID as one two three, so no one else will have. Okay, so this is not for a, only single name Mithun. This holds good for all the other things. So similarly, there is one organization called IANA, right? So let me, if you go to Google IANA, the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. Okay, so this is the, they are the one who is taking care of the this kind of IP addresses or AS numbers. And similarly, when it comes to our thing, now if you notice, this this is my laptop and uh, this this is my, uh, say, I mobile, right? So this is my mobile phone, okay? And 
this is something uh, tablet something like that so there are so many devices in my home okay so these devices will have their own uh, consider like imei number okay so they can connect locally using the bluetooth because the device will have it does not require any uh, like ip address or something like that so think that mac address so every device will have a mac address okay that is mac address in the sense media access control so that is a unique number that this will have okay and internally this will have private ip address think that uh, this will have 172 and this uh, dot i'll just write one example then you will understand so think that say 192.168.0.101 this is ip okay and this will have the ip address of 106 and similarly this will have ip address of 111 it is random okay so how they get this ip address so there is something called as a dhcp server okay dynamic host okay uh, dynamic host control protocol so that is the dhcp server which assign the ip to this devices or resources this is inside the network okay similarly so chinmay has also a same setup at his house okay and there are good possibility that he will also have the same number of ip addresses it is possible because this is private to his house please note this point okay so this will be private to his house okay so let me draw here so this is his house okay so this is his his house he is having all this setup okay and this is my house i have the same setup okay so he is also having the same ip addresses possible so he is using this ip address to communicate with these three devices internally this is called so private ip addresses are used to communicate internally i'll give you one more best example okay now same okay uh, example so my house is in chandra layout okay and say chin my house is in kormangla something is just a random okay there are good chances that my house number is 101 and his house number is also 101 same but it does not mean that this is in kormangla there will be stages there will be block there will be street something like that right here also in chandra layout my address will be different but only the house number is same what does it mean it means that why why i gave this example of house because it, it, it will be easier for you to relate okay so the layout might be same it might be a possibility that the build i mean the land developer who has developed a layout is from the same developer who has developed in chandra layout and both the uh, kormangla and he has kept the uh, house house number also in the same way so chandra layout has also uh, that layout has a hundred sites and this uh, kormangla layout also has a hundred sites so 1 to 100 only they will have or 200 set something like that so but that house number is only for local because in my layout i can identify houses from 1 to 100 right if right if if i tell my son go to house number 55 and get something he will go easily because that is internally right but when we have to connect to the internet so this private ip is address will not be useful please note this point so for that we need to have a router okay so we will have so you might have all seen a router like this at your houses right so router like this 
suppose the vendor can be anyone say uh, for example i am using act broadband it can this can be airtel broadband or geo pathway etc so these are the internet service providers right isn't it you getting the point you getting the concept see these are all internet service providers okay suppose i have taken a connection so what they will do this act people or airtel or jio or hathway etc people they will have their own servers in all the areas and locality like kormangla chandrad so they will have their servers you know near my houses so they will connect the server to this router so that they will assign one public ip so this ip will be unique for example you can check that ip address going to the google and type what is my ip address and this is that ip addresses and this is not in our control please note this point and this ip address is not under our control because this is totally managed by act in my case so act will have their own dhcp and dns server okay so dns server is the one which will have a contact phone contacts so dns server is just your phone contacts suppose if you want to dial your friend so next to your friend name you might have saved your number so i have already explained that uh, scenario right so same way dns server also behaves in a same manner suppose you want to go to google.com so the dns server will have the ip address of the google.com only then it will reach so all these devices connecting if they want to connect to the internet so they will first connect to the router so you all agree to me and once they connect to the router they will have the same ip that is not private ip public ip and using this public ip they connect to the internet you getting the point so they using this they connect to the internet okay so i will i will remove all the other things i will just mention isp that is internet service internet service provider okay i'll just mention here helps to connect to internet okay so similarly even in any house for that matter irrespective of the internet service provider they need to have a router if they want to connect to the internet okay so this ip address is is managed by the internet service provider not us and the moment you turn off the router this ip addresses goes back to this internet service provider and they will assign this ip to somebody else who is in demand or who needs that because this is a public ip and it is not our own property it will be usable only until and unless your router goes off you can check if you turn off after the class you just check this if you turn off the router and just again turn back your ip address would have changed okay whether wifi broadband anything wired connection any ip address it will definitely change public ip but the private ip will not change whether you because that is controlled by you and the machine here and we are going to create that right so we are going to select so whenever we are going to create our own network so we are the owners of the ip address range and it is our uh, property and we can use it n number uh, you know a, however the way we want so that is what we are going to do today right so what we are going to do now we are, we all have our aws account right so we have our aws account 
करेक्ट सो नाउ ओके सो फर्स्ट so inside your aws account first what we are going to do is first we are going to select our region okay so this is the region inside our aws account okay so let me write here so this is our aws account first i am going to explain it to you graphically then i am going to log into aws console and so once you log into the aws account you select the region like this okay so after login i'll just mention login okay aws login and you select the region so region can be any one of your choice it, so for now i am writing as mumbai because we are all staying in india so this is better so region i am going to choose as mumbai clear so you can relate this as you have purchased the plot of land and now you have made a markings okay now we have trying to lay a foundation now this is a foundation step okay so once you have selected a region now first we are going to create our logical network so which we were discussing all these days so this network i am talking about this network this logical network which is equal to vpc okay so we are going to first create our logical network which is known as vpc okay so let me write that vpc so this is our vpc yes so i am going to build my vpc like this so this vpc is abbreviation for virtual private cloud okay so this is abbreviation of virtual virtual private cloud okay and for this you need to decide a number that is 10.0.0.0/16 which we discussed in the previous classes how many ip addresses you want so now i i can take the same example if you want so 10.0.0.020 so that it will be easier for you so let me change it to 20 which means what i am going to get how much just subtract like this so where is that yeah 20 that means 4096 ip address will get yes fair enough sufficient for my practice because this is my sandbox environment so more than enough so i will go ahead with that okay now what now this is a logical big network now i want to divide it into small small sub networks okay so let us do that in the diagram so let's go down so i am going to as subnet okay so i am going to put here so subnet so how many subnet so as of now only two subnets so let us draw that okay so i have drawn one two subnets so one on here one on here so i'm going to name it as subnet 1 i'm going to name it as subnet 2 okay so let me maximize if you are not 
you know able to see yeah okay so this is what i have done so first i have logged in to my aws new account then i selected the region which is mumbai and i'm going to create my logical network and after that i divided this divided this network into two subnets okay please remember guys now coming back to this what i told you whenever creating our own private network we were assigning our own private ip address so this is our property right okay so whenever you create a vpc there are some things which gets created on its own okay so the first one is table routing table please note this point okay so these are the routing table so let me mention here okay so let me rename it as route table okay so a route table gets created whenever you create a vpc okay what what will be there in that there will be destination and target okay i am going to explain each of this so don't worry yeah so it will be like this i will delete these two i can write later right so destination and target so it means here it will have the ip address of your vpc that is 10.0.0.0/20 and it will be local local in the sense only the power will be inside your logically log matlab inside your network you can communicate with one another so that is the route table so the route table will have this entry okay so this route table will have then what next then this will have a router please note this point this is also very very important concept so this is was this will have a router so this is what a router let me so this is a router and this router follows this routing table very simple you getting the point you get, uh, understand the logic so for example now let me mention two devices okay so let me mention two devices so device for now two mobile phones okay so if they want to communicate inside here so now one phone in your subnet one and one device in your i mean this is one device and this is another device this is in one uh, subnetwork and this is in another subnetwork if they want to communicate with each other they will communicate like this first the request will go to the router the router will check this routing table route table or routing table one and the same okay it means yes locally they can communicate then it will send to this device and vice versa you getting the point okay now this mobile i will replace it with the vm that is virtual machine 
because we'll not be we will not have a mobile uh, phones in the cloud right we can have only virtual machines so we are going to have a virtual machine like this okay. of course it can be linux or windows depending upon your requirement so it can be a windows machine in the windows server okay so this is the symbol of linux and this is the symbol of windows okay clear so far so it looks similar to our home setup yes so the router will have okay so this route so whenever you first create vpc the routing table will get created okay and whenever you create a subnets and other things there will be a if there is a route table and definitely there will be a router also okay so this router will accept or send the request looking at the routing table i will i will show you to live okay then you will understand okay so now let us go to the, our aws console and let us start building this then you will understand okay so the first task is i'm going to log in and select the region so that is my first task so everyone log into your aws management console okay and okay so once you log in right it will something look like this so you can select your respective favorite region by clicking on the top right okay so you will see something like this is your account informations right and this is your region so select the mumbai region okay for now i have selected asia pacific singapore so let us stick to that okay now in this go in the bottom left uh, sorry top left you will see a search bar here type vpc and click on vpc that is virtual private cloud okay now as you can see there are already two vpc created right so we are going to create our first logical network so click on create vpc okay and you can name it as your wish so i am going to name it as my vpc one okay so my vpc one so what is the cadr i am giving so 10.0.0.0 slash 20 so this is how you have to give so select ipv4 because we are not going with ipv6 so select only ipv4 and select no ipv4 cadr block tenancy is as default okay and create a vpc now see here the moment you created vpc what and all it gets created see here now it is available see i told right dhcp option set so now this is the one which takes care of your ip address you know assignment and i told you it creates a main route table see destination and target see that's what i told right go here destination and target very simple if you go through one by i mean step by step like you know with the basics then you can crack any interview okay so this is the way you should learn okay right now it has created a route table and in aws whatever the resource it's created right everything it will have a id unique id so routing table dash some hexadecimal uh, id okay some alphanumeric id is there see then vpc so vpc dash some id 
and the owner id is your 12 digit your aws account id which will be here okay is it is it it so this is the route table then what else it's create so it created route table and there is also one more component called as acl acl means network access uh, control list it is also known as nacl or nacl that is network access control list what this will do this acts like a firewall okay you might have noticed okay someone if try to hack you know they will not be able to hack so there will be this router will also have the firewall so it comes with the firewall so let me mention here so this is a firewall what this will do this will block any suspicious you can make use of this service and you can allow or uh, you know deny a specific group of ip or allow only specific group of ip so this is the the firewall which i am talking about okay so these components it will get created and of course we are going to study each in detail you need not worry if you are not understanding that is totally fine we will go one by one okay so these are the three main things which get created okay see we have named it as my vpc underscore one okay clear see in this you can you know edit vpc settings okay so you can know you can you can disable that okay so you can you know you can enable dns settings or you can no dhcp option set you can do that okay but i don't recommend it should be very very important so go with it then you can cadr range or you can add another cadr value if you want okay then next what you can do you can dhcp option set you can you know add and then edit dns host name you can enable dns host name okay then dns resolution you can do by default it will be enabled okay so then if you want to create your own routes if you want to add your own uh, uh, routers which is provided by the company so the, you can do that see so everything is graphical based you have don't have to worry about anything okay so you getting the point so in this we'll get how many 4096 ip addresses okay now vpc is created now let us create subnets so how to create subnets so on the left hand side you will find the option known as subnets go to this and create a subnet subnet means you have to now we have created this logical network right this logical network you created this one now which is highlighted in blue this you created and you gave this id also fine but now if you want to create a subnet first you should select this vpc you know means you have to divide this into two equal i mean two into small small subnetworks so that is the reason it is asking which vpc create subnets in this vpc which one okay select my vpc so automatically the cadr that is classless interdomain range it is populated here so now you can give the name as 
so you can name it as uh, my subnet dash zero one okay now what is availability zone just try to glance the previous classes availability zone is nothing but a in singapore there will be multiple data centers so in which data center you want to create so that option is also there so i will select see three data centers are there so i am going to select one so first i am going to my first subnet will be in data center one okay for this what i will give 10.0.0.0/21 so how many ip address will get create so as you can see what is the ip address 2000 right right see now in subnets what and all it gets created so network acl so it is following the network acl and the route table so by default whatever the subnets we create it follows the same routing table which is created when the vpc was created so this is the route table it is following see you getting the point see these components were already there route table network acl is already there only this started following and now it is showing it is 2043 ip addresses clear and as you can see can anyone tell me is it correct 2043 or there is some uh, shortage is there can anyone tell me 2043 or 2048 guys please make this class interactive then you will learn a lot of things okay so it is actually 2048 so in the cloud i will show you the calculation also it is actually 2048 but why it is showing 2043 the reason is whenever you create a sub you know subnet meaning when you are whenever you are dividing the aws reserves five ip addresses okay they reserve five ip addresses the first one is the ip address of your network okay so which is as per this so let me write here let me go back to the diagram so aws reserves Five IP address. So what are those? First one is IP address of the network, which is equal to ten dot zero dot zero dot zero. Second one, this is the IP gateway. Address. gateway ip address okay third one 10.0.0.2 is the ip address of the dns server aws dns server okay guys this is very very important you should know all these things this these things will be asked in the interview okay then fourth ip aws future use they will not tell why and fifth address is 10.0.0.0 
0.255, which is the broadcast IP. In every network, these these are common. If you if you create any n number of subnets, you are going to see five IP address short. Clear? There is an article also. Let me give it to you. See? Clear, right? Where is it? Let us follow the AWS documentation that is more than C here. See? Network address reserved by the gateway or router. Both are one and the same. Okay? Gateway address will be there. Okay. Then VPC router. Then uh, reserved by the DNS server. Then future use 10.0.3, 10.0.255. It is network broadcast address. Okay. See, network broadcasting is uh, these are all, uh, you know, advanced networking to topics. So we are not going to use this. So we are not going to use so you can use only so you can gateway or let me change it to router ip address okay then 10.0.0.3 okay so how many ip address 1 2 3 4 5 so it is broadcast ip so that is why we cannot use these IP addresses in any given network. Whether 10 series, 172 series, 192 series, it is the same. You can check, you can cross check in any of the network. This IP address will not be assigned to any of your resources. Apart from this mention here, it, it cannot be assigned to any of the virtual machine or something like that. So this concept you should know. Clear? I am going to put this link also for your reference. Right? Okay, so if you click here, you can. Yes. Getting the point? So if you click here, it will go. Okay. Now, so we have done this. So this is done. This is done. Now, we, have, we all have got one router, routing table, everything is there. Now we need to divide this. So to divide this, you should know, I have already created one subnet already, which is again by default following this router and this routing table and this network access control list. Everything. So let us create one more subnet. So the next subnet is, it will start from 10.0.8.0 slash 21. Right? So this is the way. So 10.0.8.0 slash 21. So let us go to the AWS management console. Go to subnets again. Create subnet. Select the same VPC. So give the name as my subnet 02 and give it as second data center. And here 10.0.0 sorry 8.0 slash 21 see again you see 2043 so again 5 ip address short so now 10.0.8.0 is your network address 10.0.8.1 is your router ip address 10.0.8.2 is your dns 10.0.8.3 is your aws future use 10.0.8.255 is your broadcast. So, 5 IP addresses you will not get even in this network. So, that is why every subnet 
ओके एंड प्लीज रिमेंबर वी कैन क्रिएट ओनली टू हंड्रेड सबनेट पर रीजियन प्लीज नोट दिस पॉइंट एंड वेर यू कैन फाइंड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन गो टू दूर अकाउंट सेक्शन एंड यूर सर्विस कोटास आर देर क्लिक हियर एंड यू कैन क्रिएट फाइव बीपीसी इन अ रीजियन एंड टू हंड्रेड सबनेट सी हियर सो सेलेक्ट बीपीसी एंड यूल गेट दिस ऑप्शन सी बीपीसी पर रीजियन फाइव subnets per vpc 200 so per vpc it is it is 200 that means 1000 subnets you can create clear so of course there are other service quotas also which you are going to create but not uh, not now we are going to discuss those later okay so now let us now we have created this i mean whatever was mentioned in the diagram okay so now we can create okay now coming back to this setup so now let us compare so what i have done now i have uh, at my home i have bought one computer i have bought one tablet and i have bought one smartphone now i have come uh, now i am happy communicating internally okay isn't it but the only difference is even in vpc for internal communication also they are using the router okay but as i in my case i used router only when i needed internet service right like this internet service provider not one second internet okay so internet service provider right so i went with this option only when i needed to connect to the outside world okay but here in this case i can only communicate internally in this case but in order for me to connect to the internet or connect to this machines from the outside internet i need something as a gateway so that is called as internet gateway please note this point internet gateway so this is the internet gateway let me yeah so this is that so let me mention here okay so this is a internet okay so first you have to connect the internet gateway and then you have to attach to the vpc that is the next step attach to the vpc guys please note this point you have to attach to the vpc that is the second step third step is what so for everything you need to tell the routing table okay so you need to tell the routing table that there is a route to the internet and for that you need to follow the igw like this zero okay so i will mention like this the routing table after entering this that's it so now i can connect from my laptop from here to this machine so how will i connect first i will connect to this router okay and from router i can connect to the internet so what is the internet symbol so let me mention the internet symbol as this so that is www meaning world wide web okay also known as internet so from this router i will connect to this internet okay 
but in order to connect okay then from here i will connect to the internet gateway and from here to this machine okay whether linux or windows right clear see for linux there is a, another software you need to install in your system in order for you to connect and for windows there is another software you need to install in order for you to connect from your local machine to your this linux server or the windows server there are two different servers clear okay now let me delete this because we have created everything now only internet gateway i have not created and the reason i deleted is because now i have created vpc i have two subnets router fire i mean firewall that is acl everything is there okay now first let us so without creating the internet gateway first let us try to create one server inside any one of the subnets and try to see whether we will be able to connect or not okay then probably you will understand okay see here now let us now how to create one server so go to the aws management console search for ec2 which is uh, abbrevi abbreviation for elastic compute cloud so click here and click on instance running okay launch instance okay you can name it as um, uh, or you can say test okay this is just a testing right select amazon linux okay clear leave this uh, other settings as it is and always select this free tier eligible t2.micro don't select other instances otherwise you will be billed please remember guys <coughs> okay and you need a key pair so what is a key pair so key pair is something you need uh, for example we need a lock right lock and key suppose we lock our house and we need a key to enter to otherwise we will not be enter so that is called a key pair here so you need to create the key pair so create so i'm going to create okay just any name you want and just create key pair it will get downloaded to your machine so this is also important okay then in network settings because we have created our own vpc go to edit select our vpc one subnet my subnet one perfect and please you have to enable this auto assign public ip will be disabled you have to enable and what is this security group security group is again the small you know another firewall which acts at the you know instance level i will show you in the diagram also okay so you can create it as sg ssh okay you can copy paste the same thing here Okay, so why I gave SSH because now I am creating a Linux flavor because this is a AWS Linux flavor. So if you want to connect to the Linux server, you need to connect using the SSH protocol that is SSH and the port number is 22. So that is why I have selected SSH, SSH here. So default port it has taken 22. Okay, and leave the other things as it is and just launch okay now what you have done let it come online so what we have done is i have created a linux server okay i created a key pair 
okay i created a key pair okay in my account i created a key pair and i downloaded and downloaded to my machine here so i'm pictorially representing here sorry okay so i downloaded that key pair here isn't it yes or no then and the clock will be here imagine that clock will be here in the it will be there in the server like this okay so now key is here lock will be here okay then what i did i selected this vpc and subnet and i selected the instance type ram and everything i have selected then i also created one security right Okay, so I also created one security group. So to allow the root, so it is also acts like a shield at the interface level. So first blockage will be at this NACL, and after that there will be this one. Okay, I did all this. Okay, clear. But I have not created this and attached this. Please remember this. Okay, I'll do it now. in sometimes first let us try to connect now go back to the aws console view all instances now there is only one now you can see select option is there you can select from here also or if you are getting uh, difficult you can click on connect and you will get a ssh client option and select this come i mean copy the entire thing okay now before you run, so you need some software right to run this command isn't it so go to your google parallelly and select git bash or type git bash go to the download section and downloads okay and once you click this go to your download folder it will be in the download section So it will be like this. So just double click; it will get installed. Just type yes and next, next, next. But I have already installed. I am. I am not going to install it again. And you can open Git Bash like this and open, and you will get a console like this. Okay. Or else, the best thing is go to the. downloads folder where you have downloaded your key pair right right click okay just type git bash here okay just type git bash here and go back to your management console and once again copy this entire thing and just press shift enter or paste right click paste and as you can see i am trying to connect but i will not be able to connect to this machine at all the reason is let it come you know try to connect i am trying i will explain in the diagram what is happening here now i am using this key i have the key everything i have my internet connection also what is happening i am using this key i am trying to enter 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 here but it is going nowhere because i need to create this and attach to the vpc and make an entry in the routing table only then this connection will go and hit here isn't it so that is why it will get connection timed out it it will try to connect and it is says connection timed out the reason is it's very simple you have not allowed you have not just think that you have built a house surrounded by a compound which does not have any gate at all there is one house with the main door and there is lock and key that is perfectly fine 
but if you have built a house with the compound which a concrete wall and completely surrounded so then how will you go inside there is no gate no there should be one main gate right so that is the internet gateway so i need to create it then attach to the vpc and then i make an entry in the routing table so let us do that so cancel this okay let the go to again vpc section click on internet gateways create internet gateway you can name it as my igw create internet gateway see the moment you created it is asking to attach to a vpc click on attach to a vpc select my vpc one and attach internet gateway even then it is not possible you can check see what next i need to do i need to make an entry in the routing table so how to do that go to your vpc click on the route table go to the routes click on edit routes add route select the address so this is the ip address of the internet 0.0.0.0 okay and select the internet gateway so automatically the igw will be there okay and save changes guys can you hear me hello Hemant, Ananya, Kumar, Chandu. Yes, Mitun. Okay, okay. Yes, Mitun. Because somebody is saying that the session has ended. Okay. So now, what will happen? Now I have tell the routing table to look for IGW whenever there is a connection. So now you see, two times it has connection time dot, but now I will be able to connect. See, now it is asking for the fingerprint just type yes and you will be able to connect see clear guys yes no any doubts see now this much now we are inside this server i am inside this now now from my computer i connected through this and i came here and from here i have and now i am inside this machine logically not physically okay through this software i have installed the git bash right so through this software i am inside this virtual machine now so from here i can connect to uh, like google.com anything i can Try to connect. See, I am getting a response. You can <coughs> anything you can type. Say yahoo.com. So you are getting email.com. Also, you can try. So that means it is responding. This is totally fine. So you can also connect from the outside or you can connect to the outside also through this. Clear? Okay. So just a recap, whatever we did today, I'm not going to go further. Otherwise you will get confused. So please practice until this year. Okay. So whatever we did, so we started, we logged in, we create, selected our region. Then in that region, we created one virtual private network or virtual private cloud. We divided it into two subnetworks or we created two subnets in that. So when we created VPC by default, router, routing table, network ACL, DHCP option set, all those components got created. Right. Then we also discuss that whenever you create a subnet, it will you know there will be five ip address which will be short and we gave and we also listed what are those five ip addresses right and then 
we created one EC2 instance or virtual machine inside one of the subnets and we gave a one public IP and we tried to connect from my laptop. I also, you know, using the git bash, we also downloaded a key pair, right? But we, the connection was unsuccessful. The connection was unsuccessful. Okay. So what we did, we created an internet gateway and we attached to the VPC and then we made an entry in the routing table and then we were able to connect. So as you can see, we connected to this machine using the public IP. But if you type if config here, so if config is the command to check your IP address in Linux machine. If you see here, so 10.0.6.8. So this is the private IP addresses, my friends. This IP addresses is used for internal communication. Matlab, it's in your VPC. But when I wanted to connect to this machine, I used which IP? See, let me exit. Which IP? See, connection to 18.141.1. So this is, so this IP address is not in our control. So these are managed by AWS. This belongs to AWS <coughs> public IP pool. So they will be managing that. Clear? So these are the concepts and every machine will have public IP and the private IP. So that is what I'm going to mention here. Isn't it? So one pip that is private IP and the public IP. So one for from outside and the other for the internal communication. So any doubt guys so far? So if any doubts, please ask me. Okay, so if there are no doubts, then I'm going to wind up.